The Food Sovereignty Summit returned to the United Nation in early October. Native nations from all over the country, Canada and New Zealand, participated, both learning and sharing information about becoming food sovereign. Mike Roberts, president and CEO of the First Nation Development Institute, explains. And for the food, so food sovereignty, for the most part, is, is tribes looking to figure out how to be self-sufficient within their reservation boundaries. Oneida elected leaders were also in attendance. And I think it's really important that um, we share our information with other tribes and tribes share the information with us. Obviously, food sustainability and food sovereignty has a lot about, you know, being able to feed your family and feed your uh, community. And so it's really important that we take the time to share that information with our community and with other nations and, and uh, have that information exchange to make sure that we're having the best practices of um, agriculture on the land and how it helps the environment when we do it properly in a, in a good, healthy, sustainable way. Experiential learning was the highlight of the conference. The United Nation hosted each class and demonstrated different ways to build healthy communities through several projects that the nation has in their integrated agricultural system. Junhanqua Farm held a class on managed grazing and soil conservation and how to prevent erosion. The course also took each participant through the process of establishing pasture layouts and fencing, as well as identifying cover crops to minimize erosion. The aquaponics project was started to produce food for the community through a system that will be capable of producing a large amount of food from fish to fresh produce all year round. The system demonstrates food safety and security and also promotes the principle of know your farmer, know your food, and is a great example of farm to school. The Oneida Apple Orchard held an experiential learning class. Participants were taken through all aspects of apple production, from the pruning to processing apples for packaging. The Trout Creek project was started in 2013 and re-established a meandering stream through 56 acres of what was once farmland. Participants saw how buffers were established and how it restored wetlands to the area. The Oneida Husking Bee happens every year when the Oneida Nation harvests the white corn. In this segment, participants learned how the corn is planted and grown and harvested and braided to dry. Students also learned about the Oneida culture and traditions as they were instructed in the making of corn husk dolls. The Oneida market carries items from tribal members as well as tribes from around the state of Wisconsin. Participants learned the aspects of operating both a convenience store and a market, from product placement to other marketing techniques. The experiential learning and the many ideas shared by Indigenous nations continue to bring us closer to becoming a food sovereign nation.